up? Are we? Yeah, man. It's almost forty years of marriage, and they now it's, it's just a waste. I don't, I don't know what the reason she divorced um uh, uh Judge Max is for, but I don't know, man. What you think, Hakeem? What's your take? Go ahead, Hakeem. I want, I want, I want to know his take on that one. So, um. This is a tough one. I really don't know how to answer this. 39 years, um, it just makes a lot of us scared of marriage. And some people say, oh, you can't walk in fear. But even the greats' marriages are not lasting anymore. What are making these women want to leave? And it's clearly to say that, oh, the only person to blame is the men. So, you know what I mean? She's going to walk away with money. And he's going to pay her up until he dies. You know I me, mean? they got grown kids. I don't know if she felt like she need to find herself again or nothing. Man, y'all did damn near two, y'all did damn near three decades. What no, my bad. Um you said 49? The 39 years, so I'm talking about four decades. Yeah, yeah, four decades to each other. You don't know nobody else but him. You gonna jump back out there and get a new sausage? This is what we do. But, but let's be honest, like who gonna really watch that? She damn near mm. 70. Hey, I don't hey, listen. I don't want them to attack you. I don't well, they can go ahead, but it's a, it's a true. She damn near seventy. You supposed to stay with that man till you about to hit the grave, woman. You like um, and I'm just I'm just being I'm just I'm just being honest. Like stuff like that, I don't like to see because I, like you did like four like you say four day de four decades. Mm -hmm. Why why you get divorced in the first decade? You get what I'm saying? Why wait four decades and be like you know I'm out of the marriage because he's a judge and he's always busy, he's always on the run. But this is why I tell Ruthless. That's why I tell you, I debate Ruthless all the time. Women only care about money and money and the money. I be like, bro, women don't care about that money crap, bro. That's something on the internet. That's internet talk. That's why I keep telling people that's internet talk. Women care about money and this and that. When you go outside, women care about what can you do for them emotionally. Emotionally. Focus on their emotions. That's what guys need to understand. Guys and men and the young generation to get women to be totally involved with you for a very long time focus on her emotion cars don't matter shoes don't matter look prime example hakeem and jordan judge mathis got millions of dollars mm -hmm. she still went out <laughs> so yeah she's about to hit the grave soon because he's like damn near 70. yeah so what is it and i guarantee you if she ever sit down when she does eventually She's gonna say thank you, Jenny. Even Jenny says correct. That's what I'm telling you. When she sit down to one of the talk show hosts, because they're gonna interview her, she's gonna be like, he didn't focus on my emotion. I guarantee you that's what she's gonna say. He didn't focus on my emotion. He was good when it came to the aspect of providing money, cars, the lifestyle that Ruthless always talk about. She's out. Yeah, Ronnie, and, that, and that's what I kind of want to lean towards that because you look at Judge Matthews, like I said, he's been in the game, what, 30, what, 30, 40 years as being a judge. You know, he had a very successful show and everything. But the thing is, it's like he still wants to work. And at his age, I believe his wife is like, hey, you know, we, we made so much money and everything. You know what? How about you retire? You know, let's, you know, go for it, Jordan. Let's with the world, you know, let's mm -hmm. travel and everything because, like I said, we're in our go to years and everything. But if you look at Judge Matthews, he's like I said, he still want to work. And I think, you know, that's probably one of the reasons she got tired of it. It's like I said, we got so much money, but you still want to work. Like, come on now. And I think that right there, you know, that's and that's what uh, inconsolable difference is that and everything. Because I believe Judge Matthews still wants to work because he does have kids. So we still go see him on television. But I think the wife is like, you know, that's, you know, we're in our golden years. Let's enjoy life. You know, we made so much money, especially for you as being a judge. You know, let's go out. Let's travel. Let's travel to the United States, you know. That's travel to you know different countries and everything. You know, good point. Let's let's go on those you know dates that you know that we thought that we didn't that we went that we went to that we talked about 20, 30, 40 years ago, and you know let's talk about the stuff that we was gonna do. Let's do it now. But unfortunately, I think with on Judge Method's size, he still wants to work. He's he must be he's a workaholic and everything. He still want to be out there. Still want to think he has some type of fame. But the wife is like, you know what? I'm, I'm tired. You know, you promised me this and that, but. You know, but she's still not retiring. So you see, she, she put out the two piece and say, "Hey, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live my life. I'm gonna do what I want to do. And if I found love again, which is a small percentage, then yeah. But when it comes to this, you know, 
be be about home. You working a lot, and I'm over with. I'm I'm done with it. And I and I'm not saying that's the the. Uh, the I'm not saying that I, I might be wrong, but how I'm thinking about it and everything, the age the age that they had and everything, I think she wanted the man to retire, but he said no. I'm gonna keep on working. No prime example. Look at Tom Brady and his ex wife. Exactly. Remember that's a perfect example. She was like Tom Brady. You got six rings. You on top. They don't need you anymore. Relax, chill. Let's focus on the marriage. Let's go. Like Jordan's pretty much exactly what Jordan said. Let's go and enjoy, enjoy life. You are making so much money. Now nah, I don't want to do. That. I want to play football for another year. Now nah, his marriage is gone, and now nah, look what he's doing. Now nah, he's doing commentary for sports. Now, when it's too late, his wife is already gone. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, guys, don't understand the game. It's emotion. And Muhammad said, "American women want to divorce for like for anything." No, I don't think they want to divorce for anything. It's just because the guy is not focused on the woman's emotion. I'm telling you, that's the mm-hmm. issue. We're not focused on a woman emotion, and not only that, we're not dating them like we're supposed to be dating them again. I think we married them. Some push like back. everything is the same. Go ahead. Go, give Let me, me some get some pushback. How can you focus on emotions, conquer the world, make six figures, squash bugs, and climb tall mountains? My dude, we are men. It doesn't matter. Men do all things, bro. You don't even think. You don't think twice. We men. We're not. I going understand to make that, but we we're, we're not Superman. A lot of us are not Superman. We're not going to be able to fit every boxer. So this, I ask a woman: Do you want a husband or do you want a provider? You want a husband to focus on your emotion, pay half the bills. The husband is a provider. That way you can. I, I got a question. I understand. Though. I got a question though. Okay, let's say you know she she has to provide her the first twenty years of her marriage, but yeah. you made so much money now during your forties and fifties. Like, hey, you know we make so much money that you know we could retire it on. Also, you know for our kids, you know they need you know trust funds and everything, all that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. When I'm and I'm saying from women's side, okay, okay, do be the provider for the 20, 30 years. But then once we hit that mark, fifties and sixties, okay, okay, what and when is enough is enough. It's never enough, Jordan. There you go. And that's the problem. And then we're going to continue. It's never enough. Uh, 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 marriage is going to still continue to go up. And then a lot of black men will be like, these women ain't crap. These women ain't this and women ain't that. Because we keep focusing on the wrong thing. Money, don't get me wrong. Get your money. I, you already know. I'm the money. I can't hear Jordan. I know I always talk about, Jordan, where's the money at? I, you see, I always say, where's the money at? Get your money. But that's the right thing to do. Thing. How come you never heard about Warren Buffett divorcing his wife? And he's a billionaire, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. But different culture, different mindset. Black no, because he, he know how to diversify. He know listen, how to listen. the difference between being a husband wo- and being a businessman. That is true. But black women are very different than white women. You know what I mean? Their traumas are very different. So this is Bro, why. they're still women, though. They, they are still women. women. But, but, they, but they, there's some nuances that women approach things a little bit differently. You know what I'm trying to say? We can't do everything. I sure can't. I fall asleep at the nine a nine o'clock. I don't know what I can do for you after that. You feel okay? Prime time. Oh, prime time. I'll listen to a therapist today. Um, what's his name? Doctor. Um, Doctor John. Um, Deloney. He he would be with um Dave Ramsey all that. Shout out to him. He be with Dave Ramsey all the time. He's a he's a he's a therapist. I be a licensed therapist, so I be listening to him. You know what he said? I was listening to one of the podcast. He said, "When you marry to someone, schedule have a schedule to have sex." Cause some people like, oh, my sex drive is going down. I don't feel like I'm feeling, I'm not feeling it anymore because I'm older. I'm getting weaker and this and that. He said, no, schedule. If your wife is someone that like like to have intimacy a lot, schedule a time with her. Cause you know, like I came say, I get, I go to sleep at nine o'clock. Okay, schedule a time with her. Like, hey, before nine o'clock, let's get it in because at nine o'clock I I, I go to sleep. Have those type of conversation. We don't have those type of conversations because we are afraid to. As men, we always afraid. When men not supposed to be afraid, we supposed to be able to do all things. But go ahead, I came because you say push. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, 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 I am. Hold on. Um, let's read this. Genesis says, however, at Jordan, this is also what has backfired for black women. We want the working man without the contingency plan, and when he is ready to stop working. Um, I want to read Natasha too. She said, "I had a deep conversations with many many older men in my work over the over the years. They identif- their identity is often tied to the work they do. Stop, and it can be very hard for them mentally. Wise need to un- understand this. Woo! 
And she also says, help your hubby tr uh, transition, but try to understand if he hangs on to work longer than you were hoping for. That's your pushback, Ron. Oh, but the ass baby, oh, oh, because she's talking about, she talks to a lot of men and they always want to focus on work. Yeah, they focus on work because they don't have enough money saved in their savings account or their 401k so they can retire. <laughs> That's why they focus on work because in the younger days, like with the age we at right now, they outside partying, they don't know how to invest, they don't know how to, they don't know how to budget. So when they get older, they're gonna continue to work. <laughs> That's my pushback. A when you push, I can't. When you in your seventies, my dad's in his seventies. My dad's retired. My dad's chilling. Mm -hmm. Now my dad could choose to go to work. My dad tell you he choose to go to work or he choose not to go to work. That's in the position I want to be in. Okay, I choose not to. I don't even choose to go to work. I choose not to go work. I want to chill. And then when he's chilling, he's chilling with his wife. I I think that Natasha has a point there. We need to hone in on that. This is now the job of a woman to try to transition your man without being without being so tough on without being so like um. How can I say? So um, so overbearing about it, mm -hmm. and be able to easy transition. Not nit, not nitpicking about it. Nitpicking, right? To be easy or hard about it, and easy to transition it out of. That's where your femininity comes in. Is that, like, babe? We got it. We got enough. I don't need no more. You know, I think. We're yeah, right, do, I but think they're doing that, Hakeem, and the man still said, "I'm going to work." <laughs> and the thing is, I think the more to do, and I think this might could work. It's like you know, have women try and plan like vacations. You know, like like look like very good vacations and everything. You know, and have you know, trans I'm having a uh, man be more relaxed in the way. You know, to, uh, to kind of take his mind, take it off of work, and say, "Hey, you know, let's you know, let's take some vacation. You know, relax more. You know, co coming in your lives, coming you know, getting older and everything. You know." You know, we get, get a little bit, little bit tired. Our bones are gonna get a little bit older and everything. I think, especially as men, you know, we need to focus on more to relax because once we have the mindset of working twenty years, thirty years nonstop, or we, or we with us, uh, um, Hakeem Ronnie with the, with, you know, with the podcast and everything, you know, we've been super, super consistent and everything. You know, there might be a time, maybe five or ten years, where we make that mark that you know we always like on on the drive and do it, but maybe there's time we need to take back. You know, spend time with family and everything. I'm not yeah. saying that. I'm not saying. I'm. I'm just putting it. I'm not saying that's gonna happen to us. I'm just, you know, making it um, as as like as a thing. Like, you know, what if and everything, which I don't think is gonna happen. You know, because there are some people, especially men that old companies, or entrepreneurship. You know, they especially if they're married. You know, they always constantly say, "I want to be better. I want to be better." You know, I want to make sure my kids have the nice. Uh, go to the private schools. You know, make sure my wife and kids live in a nice house and everything. You know, make sure to have cars and everything. And make sure they set up for life, and also their grandkids as well. But I just feel like you know, um, as men of those caliber, you know, you can do that, but also focus on you know, your family. Also focus on relationship because we turn fifty and sixty and everything. You know, you, you can't do what you do in your twenties and thirties and everything. To me, you need you need to live out your golden years, relax. You know, you know, if you have a part time job, work a part time job. But other than that, spend time with your family. You know, with your wife. You got kids, you got grandkids, you know, that will that right there will make you will make you live longer too. And also having hobbies too, because there's a lot of men who retire, they don't have a lot of hobbies. And you know, in a, like in a year or so, you know, they, they might, you know, um, you know, you know, just pass out because you know, when when you, could we know if there's men they, they they stop working, they don't have a hobby, or you know, they'll spend time with family and everything, they usually die off because you know. When men start working, they don't have anything else to do. They it's like they die off and everything. So I think it's important, especially for wives, to you know, once they get in their 40s and fifties, you know, try to translate them out of the work mode and be focused on you know, you know, your, your golden years. Either either you know, spend time with family, uh, spend time you know, vacationing, or work on a small business business you always want to work for that you know that you really enjoy. But it doesn't take as much time as you, you know, working 40 or 50, 50 hours a week. Um, uh, shout out to Mr. G over there on the kick world. We oh no, Twitch world, sorry. Always holding us down over there. Thank you, my brother, for always. From South Africa, through. Johannesburg. Always, shout out to him, man. Jacob always Zuma. Through, man. And Mr. Ma and Mr. Muhammad say, uh, why did Dre Dr. Dre White divorced him. Well, she said supposedly because remember he was very abusive towards her. That's one. Two. Um, 
you already know it's Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre was always consistently always working. He was never home. So that one time I tell you, like that, like Jordan said, it's a balance. I'm not I'm 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 not telling men don't go out there and get the bag. I'm mean, gonna get the bag, but also focus on a woman emotion. Okay, if you don't do that, I'm telling you, someone else will. And that's what guys fail to realize. You can make all the money in the world, but you don't want to come home to that cold bed at night, man. That just sometimes gets cold. It really do. Then, oh, then, shut up, shut up. Uh, I can't put up this comment. Shout out to Mr. Uh, G63. He said, Year, year one to ten, grind that habit year, year 11 to, tw 11 to 20, the soul year, uh, year 21 to 30, grind the money, grind, grind the money, and then year 30 to 40, grind, grind at home. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's the that's a smart plan. Yeah. Right now, we're on the grinding mode. Right now, we're right, right now, we grind, we grinding, right? But when I'm 40, I'm trying to retire. I ain't going yeah, to hold definitely. you. I'm trying to retire. You know, that one saying that's the mindset you want to have. So you're like, okay, let me see what this world is all about. Especially black man, Hakeem. Black man don't even live to be 80 no more. No. So you want to grind your whole year, Hakeem, grinding, make, I'm making the bag, I'm trying to be a provider and not make it to live 80? No, 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 no. I want, I want to be, I, I want to be off that soon. Hey, I, that's what I'm I'll, trying to tell you. I want exactly. See, I, want, I want to see my if, if if my if my daughter have grandkids. I want to see them when they turn 30, 20s, and thirty years old. Man, I want, I want, I want to see that. Witness that. So here, I want to make my money and you know, balance and out, spend time with my family, man. And then, um, Mr. Muhammad said, "Why is the old timers keep working until they can't work anymore?" They stay, they they still stay married. It's because remember, that's an old traditional value. We don't live yeah. in a we don't live in an old traditional value anymore. Right. This is a different generation. And now that their man would tell you, even the old time, they'll tell you, I spend time with my wife. They always say that they would spend time with their wife. Their wife would be in the room, kitchen, or they'll be in the room in, in in the bedroom, or they'd be in the kitchen. They would do something, but they will always spend time with her. That's mm -hmm. what kept them going. That's that old school love. That's the one Hakeem be talking about. But this generation don't have that anymore because they we, we 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 lost that. So to, able to get that again, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go to old timers and see. Okay, what can you teach me so I can stay in that? Yeah. And Mr. G, uh, I can't. He he wrote another comment. He said, "Uh, to fifty to eighty, enjoy your life like, um, uh, reaping." The ties to what you find exactly. The grand, yeah, the Grand Reaper trying to find you. <laughs> I mean, the Grand Reaper. Oh yeah, he mentioned the Grand Reaper. Yeah. Tries to find you. <laughs> I'm saying you supposed to live your. I'm telling you, especially black men, we do not live to be 80 anymore because of the stress of work, the stress of trying to get the bag, the stress of not having a woman at home because a lot of men, a lot of black men don't really have women at home. The stress of they do have kids. The stress of not being able to pay for the kids' college tuition or whatever the kids need. Black men are dealing with a lot. At some point, we gotta find the balance. I'm sorry, we gotta find we gotta find the balance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disagree. Go ahead, moving forward. But shout, but Sam and John Judge Mathis, man, seven years old, forty years of marriage, forty years of marriage. Yeah. yeah. All right, people, on to the next topic. Oh, let's talk about this guy, Russell Westbrook. Shout out to this brother. And he been doing a lot here in the South Central. You know, and I don't think a lot of people don't hear, but he do a lot of stuff here in the South Central. So he has partnered with uh, Little Kitchens Academy, 